Well, today's the day we just got an early morning call from the post office. Hey, Millie! And uh, the Cayuga duck females are in, so we are going to head down. We're going to pick them up. We're also going to mail in our Redmond soil test kit to get the results back on that, hopefully quick, so we can get our garden, our raised garden beds amended and uh, figure out what we need to add to make them uh, grow the biggest yield of vegetables we can grow. But I'm excited to uh, get these um, ducks and uh, see what the quack pack thinks once they're big enough to go in with them. So stay tuned. There they are. I don't know if you guys can hear them or not. We're not going to open them until we get home because they got to stay warm, of course. So let's head home. All right, we made it home with the baby Cayuga ducklings. It's a rainy day. But we're heading out to the shop. That's where we keep our brooder for our chicks and our geese that we currently have. Little goslings, but we got to make some room because here recently the little geese have started pecking the feathers on the uh, little Polish chickens we got in there. But the geese should be able to uh, be big enough to go to the little goose daycare setup that we got, and I'll show you guys. If you guys remember when we brought those other four geese home, we had a little setup here in the shop right here and that's where they went oh yeah so you can see those little geese are growing so fast all right let's see what we got here so these came from Meyer hatchery I'm not sure if they were overnighted it says two day right there come up oh my gosh look at the hose Little baby Cayugas. Are they not the cutest? Got a little heat pack in there. Looks like they all made it just fine. So now, I'm gonna go uh, get some fresh water and everything for these little goslings. And then we'll transport them over to the uh, goose daycare thing. And then get these guys underneath the heat lamp. I don't wanna put them in there just yet because they are probably about a quarter of the size of those geese. Oh, they're nice and warm, look at that. Little cute little female Cayugas. Alright, be right back, guys. You guys ready to go to your new house? Alright, here he is. Little geese. Here you go. All that water, get you some food. So there's their setup. There's a the little geese. We do know we got two boys because we ordered those from a hatchery. The other two we actually hatched ourselves here. And the boys got the blue bands on. So let's get these Cayuga ducklings in there. Well, let's get their food full, filled up first. All right, food and water is ready to go. Y'all ready to get underneath that heat lamp? Wow, these are some small little ducks. But we'll leave these chickens in here for a few more days. And uh, that way they can kind of teach the little ducks how to eat and drink. Because they're already like three, three weeks old or so. And as warm as it is outside now, they should be able to go outside in the uh, quail hutch. So these ducks should just be two days old. Cute. One more. One more. So this heating pad is still warm. So that's good for transportation purposes. So we got them moved over. I'll kind of watch to make sure they they see their water. If they don't, I'll dip their uh, beaks in there one at a time. But you can see some of those Polish are missing some feathers. So that's from the geese kind of being mean to them and picking their feathers. So it's time to get them separated for sure. But these ducks will probably watch the chickens come over and drink and then that 
we'll teach them a lot of times what we'll do is we'll just take the ducks or the chicks when we put them in the breeder and dip their little beaks in the water and that'll just teach them hey that's where my water is let's just do it real quick there you go got a little drink all right let's let them be for a little bit let them get settled in we'll check back in a little bit Okay, so Rachel and I are out here. We're getting ready to feed, but she just ran to town a little bit ago, and as soon as she went out the gate, what'd you see? It was a coyote that ran right in front of a car. And let me show you why we're so worried about that. In the middle of the day. We're not too worried about the coyote getting in our yard because we got the guard dogs. But if you guys can see that right there. I don't know if they can see her. Yeah, you can see her. That's Matilda. And uh, she keeps wanting to leave, so. I don't know why she keeps flying over the fence. She's... She wants to leave. I'm a little sad for Walt, well, honestly. Let me, show, let me show you Walt real quick. So Walt is super upset because his wife keeps wanting to leave and uh, flying over the fence every morning. She's done this for a couple days now. And uh, I wasn't too worried about it. If you guys remember last year, Matilda actually did the same thing, but she went the other direction and flew a long ways away from our house and she was gone for weeks she came back and she had the leg injury we thought she was gone for good and her leg has not ever been right since so since she just seen that coyote just a little bit ago in the middle of the day and that's not the first time i've seen one but i thought ooh, he was really close that's really to close our driveway to and i'm like oh no we better we've got to um well, we know all this issue and we knew that she had been coming out here and she don't go anywhere She just jumps over the fence and comes out here and eats. So we're gonna try to catch her And what we're gonna do is trim her wings Clip her wings, whatever you want to we're call gonna catch her, it. Put her back in the fence and then clip her wings. Well, we're gonna try to catch her. Or so whatever. stay tuned for this I should have worn my boots. You should have. Copperheads are out. Good thing we let that black snake live the other day well, All right sure. This is bad yeah, so th this stuff is like camo for the copperheads. Yep. Just follow me. I'll make a. I'll blaze a trail for you. I got my boots on, so if anyone tries to bite, they'll try to bite me first. All right. So there's Matilda. Walt. Walt is just. He can't stand it. What? I don't see eggs or anything. No. She was sitting like in this general area when I seen her. Here, I'll give you this and I'll try to catch her since I got the boots. boots on. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. Some wild blackberries. Ooh. <laughs> oh, girl. It's really brushy back here too. I should, well, if it wasn't so brushy and snaky over here, I would have had the kids come help. But I don't want nobody to get copperhead bit. Oh, no. Slow down, Matilda. You're all right. I think I'm gonna try to do this, but. I don't think I can. Here. I think if you, can you hold her wing? Yeah. Well, she's got this one. She's Watch her tip. Okay, don't move. We're gonna do both of them because we do not want her getting out. Again, and getting eaten by a coyote because with her leg hurt like it is, I don't think she'd be able to get away. Sorry, Matilda. We, you, we love you and we don't want to risk it. Well, I got her, bud. And Walt loves you. Quit trying to Walt, Walt leave. Is, uh, he won't stop telling her. Is that enough? You think? Yeah, that's enough on that one. Yeah, do this one good though. Just and typically go, you don't have to do both. Just don't go past, you know where to go. Yeah. Don't go past my finger. I know. 
No, more than that. Go closer. Okay. Well. Okay, I, let me show you something real quick. I did the. You want to? You want to kind of follow this? See these feathers? How they change? You kind of yes. want to follow that. Okay. Well, right up here, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know that. Here, go down. It's easier. I'm fine. Okay. This, it works. I'm doing it. Cause these scissors. I don't, I'm not very good at doing things one-handed like you are. Okay. <laughs> well, you get used to it when you have a YouTube channel and trying to carry that camera around. Okay, <laughs> Walt. Let's reunite Matilda with Walt. Here, Walt. Where is he? I hear him. I almost gonna kind of throw over because I can't let go of her. There he is. No. <laughs> Where's he at? He said, I see you, babe, I see you. He says, you leave me again, that's the last time. We don't have any other options though. <laughs> she is the only turkey hen we got left. I'm kind of like feeling bad for Walt. Well, we might have to get him a girlfriend. Well, cause she's not real interested. No. But he's a beautiful Dad. He's a beautiful Tom Turkey. Look at him. <laughs> yep. And she just keeps wanting to leave. Well, let's go feed them. Everybody's starving to death. They're not really starving. They just like the grain. No, they're not starving at all. We shouldn't even be feeding them grain anymore. This video is brought to you by ButcherBox. And right now, every new member that signs up will get two pounds of grass-fed beef in every box for the lifetime of their membership. So tonight's choice of meat for dinner is grass-fed ribeye and sirloin steak. Every time we go to the freezer and pull out one of the packages from ButcherBox, we know we're getting quality and it always tastes great. ButcherBox sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. You choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family love. ButcherBox ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. You enjoy high quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals together. ButcherBox helps me get time back in my day. I don't have to worry about searching for high quality meat and seafood when it's delivered directly to my doorstep. I get 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood that tastes amazing, all with a few clicks online. So if you're ready to join the ButcherBox community, I will leave a link down in the description below. Click on that and don't miss your chance to get something special when you become a ButcherBox member today. So somebody got a haircut today. What do you think, Skeet? You like it? You got your summer cut? He's thirsty right now. Yeah, he's got a little schnauzer cut. Well, we haven't cut too much. Okay, Rachel hasn't seen the new babies yet. I haven't. No. You forgot all about them, probably, because you were too worried about the coyote and the turkey. Well, that is the most pressing issue at the moment. Not these babies. You've seen these. I know. These. I love them. Look how big they are already. Hi, babies. <laughs> Skeeter said. Skeeter likes them. Oh, good. New friend. Uh yep, they like their uh, gosling daycare set up. All right. Now look at these little cute things. They're tiny. Oh my gosh. Probably tomorrow we'll take those Polish chickens out and we'll put them out in the park. <laughs> look how ugly those Polish chickens are. Look at it. Yeah, they're not the cutest right now. Oh my gosh. They got gosh. some crazy uh, hairdos. Look at that one. Hold on, I need to catch that one and show everybody. Where did it go? I don't know if they're going crazy. Just grab one, they all look the same to me. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, and look how pitiful it looks. <laughs> I showed them earlier. Look at his feathers. The geese are kind of picking their feathers and stuff. And um, Look at its head. I know. Look how ugly. I you're like so, it. You're, you're not so, ugly. You're so ugly, you're cute. You're not ugly. No, no, don't jump. All right. Oh, wait, let me see the ducks. 
Come here, little ducks. Little girl coyote ducks. Oh, we've extended our quack pack. Well, we'll see. We gotta get them raised up first. Oh. Yeah, I, they're cute little ducks. I love you already. Little black eyes and black bills and black feet. Hi. What are you doing? Look at his little wing. I know. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, you're so cute. All right, let's go feed the dogs and go. Okay. All right, we're coming. Skeeter, your haircut looks really good, buddy. Quack, quack. We got a surprise for you, but you're going to have to wait a few weeks. Okay. Got a surprise for you, champ. All right, Rachel's got the dog food. I got the goat food. Hey. Just like clockwork. Look at these tongues. The tongues start going crazy. They stick their heads through the board and their tongues just go 90 to nothing. Hell, it's all the same, brother. I can't believe you guys can still fit back here. Alright, let's go get the dogs their food. Is she more interested in sticks? Cora. What are you doing, Cora? What are you doing, Cora? Well, she's got access 24-7 now, so... She might not be hungry, and plus it's finally 80 degrees today. Finally got a really warm day. And a lot of times when it gets warmer, dogs do not eat as much. Our dogs don't anyways. Right, Cora girl? Oh, you know, baby. Come here. Oh, you know, baby girl. She said, oh yeah, that feels good. You sure are growing good. You know that? Come on. Look, she's gonna go. Here, right I got her a can of food in my pocket. Okay. Here, wait. There you go. She said, oh yeah. She likes the eggs. She loves eggs just like all the other dogs we got. Look at here, girl. This is just a little supplement. A little treat every once in a while. We give them. A can of dog food. We don't give them this canned food every day, but... No, because it just gives them something a little different than dry food. And she's got access to her puppy food 24-7. And she's been eating. Alright, so what we've been doing is we've been feeding them and getting out of here and it's been working great, so... Yeah, it definitely... Did you get him his egg yet? Yes. <laughs> Please ski. Please ski. Hey. Why does he think his food's not the same? It's the same thing. <laughs> You know how to, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, he's a good boy. Your food's right here, Bubba. All right, you already gave him his eggs? Yep. All right, let's get out of here so they can eat. Mojo! Oh, here he comes. He already knew we were coming. He said, I heard that wagon coming. You ready to go eat? Huh? I gotta mow this weekend, look at all this. I hate to mow, but I've been letting this go as long as possible because all these flowers, the bees absolutely have been busy with them all. Our whole front yard is just flowers and dogs and dog hair. <laughs> all right, guys, you better uh, enjoy this food now because here, probably by this weekend, after this weekend, I won't feed you more, no more grain for the summer. Here, I'll give you this. Someone get trampled like all these. Put this in there, will you? 
Mojo, you ready to eat, Bubba? He said, yep, lick my lips. I love this wagon. I love that wagon too. It helps save my shoulders. You gonna feed boy first? Oh. Mama forgot you. Mama forgot you, but I didn't. Remember that, okay? Hey. <laughs> There's a ghost face. She's getting around good. So far, so good. She's eating some. I'll allow it a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, that's good. That's for the chicken. That's just because you were injured. Go eat that goat food, though. Hey, hey, quit. All right, I'm gonna go so she'll quit trying to jump on this. Mojo gave me kisses. You missed it. Go eat goat food. These two are sunning on the playground. Well, are you happy now? You got your girl back. Walt's happy. I don't know about Matilda. Matilda says, dang it. <laughs> Millie! Oh there you go. There's Millie, girl. Wow, I cannot believe how fast these other geese are growing, you know it. We'll move their pin tomorrow. <laughs> I get on some fresh water too. Yeah. All right. You gotta tell him what I spotted first thing. Yeah. Let me uh here. I'll give you this. I'm gonna go fill this up real quick. Okay. Look who's back. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's a huge. I don't know if that's the same one or not. But he's looking right at me. Well, he's looking this way. There ain't none in here, are there? No. Look. We gotta take care of this one. All right, camera off. How many chances do we give? Oh, uh, he's had plenty. He's had, yeah. The chickens are enjoying their scratch. And they're grub terror worms, I throw them. I hear you, Pedro. There y'all go. And of course, the goats like the chicken scratch. <laughs> no, no, they don't eat the, the black soldier. Fire. No, they don't. They don't eat those. Are you sure? I'm positive. I watch. It wouldn't surprise me. His nose is there. Alright, Millie. Your turn. The geese don't really like those grub terra worms, or what are they called? Like mealworms. Mojo's doing his checks. Good boy. He's such a good boy. He checks. He checks every single day. After he eats, he does his rounds, but he does that often throughout yeah. the day. He don't just do it when he eats. He does it all the time. Yeah. All Here, right. I'll get the wagon. You go rinse out Millie's, and. The girls is. We went ahead and moved Millie's really pen. Uh, now that they're getting bigger and there's more of them in there, they're kind of making it a mess a little bit quicker. Which ain't no big deal because we got all this grass and the goats ain't eating enough of it. So there's plenty to go around. They love fresh grass. Oh, of course. Buzzards. Yeah. Oh. They get things dirty quick. Yep. I think that's for most waterfowl. Waterfowl are not the cleanest. No. But and they're in a confined pen right now. And that don't help stuff, so. Yeah. Millie, Millie, what you know, girl? Got you some fresh water. They're not gonna be staying in here forever either. Nope, just as soon as they're in her size, we're gonna try to let them out, and then we'll have some other ones to bring in here. Yeah. So rinse her bowls out. Now we're just getting her some fresh water. And did you know that snake was over there? She said she would have she took care of it. She might have. I don't know. It was pretty big. Look how big the other one 
these are. They're almost just as big as she is. I think they, I'm not going to say they doubled in size, but they have grown a lot since we've got them. Yes, they're getting their little feathers. Yep. They have to stay in here until they get all their feathers in. they got to stay in here until they're about her size or they will be like hawk bait or owl bait. Yeah. They'll swoop down and pick them up and they're eat them up. They're white. In our experience, that's the first thing that we picked off. Yeah, because they're not camouflaged at all around here. Anyways. Oh, and, you know, I, I told you. Hey, let me out of here. No, oh, I want you in the cage. No, <laughs> I feel like I'm trapped. You are. No, you're not. I put the string on, remember? Oh, yeah. No, the I'm, um, that's not the first time I've seen the coyote run in front of the car. I think a couple weeks ago, I was on the phone to Mrs. Dutch, and I said, oh, my gosh, an owl. Uh, a coyote had just went in front of the car. Now our coyote, get your story straight. No, listen. A coyote ran in front of the car. Okay. And then a few minutes later, an owl swooped down. It was the weirdest thing. I thought that's kind of creepy. Yeah. But then today, the coyote. But I seen Which, an owl just a few days ago. To clarify on that, the coyotes are always on the outside of our property, and we see them often. And we take care of them when we can. Um, our dogs don't leave our property, so. Coyotes are out there on the outside of our property, not with the livestock. But why we were so worried today about Matilda, the turkey hen, is she was on the outside. She was on the outside, and we don't want that. So that's why we went ahead and clipped her wings. And I hope you got those scissors. You don't have them. I handed them to you. You did. Uh oh, they're not in my pocket anymore. I don't know if I set them in the shop or what I did. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that is today's video. Stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and you can watch. The new baby Cayuca ducks grow up, and then uh, when we introduce them to the quack pack, which is our males. Will it be a love match? We'll, we'll separate half those males, and we'll bring some of them over here, and then we'll put some of the Cayuga females with them, and then hopefully we'll put maybe one or two over here with these. I don't know. We'll just have to see. We got, how many did we get? Six? Six females, and we got four males. So. I'd like everything to be on the pond eventually. Yeah, That's eventually. That's my goal. We got, we got to train our livestock guarding dogs over there to not um, chase poultry and all that. And so, I don't know. It'll be a test. But anyways, thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Thank you guys. Um, put that water down. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. Like this video. Leave us a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Thank you.